Hi, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas, and I am back again now that we're all out of the hospital, no doctor's appointments today. I am going to finally have the chance to film what was supposed to be week two of the Sweet Strawberry Stamp Set for March. It didn't happen last week. If you were paying attention to my blog, you will recognize this card. But finally, you get to watch a live video. So let's get started. going to try to pull up the video on my computer to make sure you can see what I'm actually creating. Okay. I have a piece of pear pizzazz cut hot dog style, which is to take an 8.5 and, and 11 piece of paper and cut it in half so it's 4 and a quarter by 11. And then when you fold it in half, it's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. Set that aside for now. I have a piece of basic white for the inside of the card cut at four by five and a quarter. And then for the outside of the card, we have two pieces of some of the retired Berry Delightful Designer Series paper, which was a celebration item maybe in 2021. I don't remember. But this is to represent strawberry, and it's four inches across, and I believe it's one and a half, which makes it all adds up to five and a quarter. So, you might just have to do the math. Makes this, what, three and three quarters? plus an inch and a half is five and a quarter, something like that. Then for the top layer, we have a piece of parmesan, which is cut at three by four, and a piece of basic white to go on top of that, which is cut at three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And we're going to start by doing some stamping with the Stamparatus. I think I'm only at this point going to need one of the magnets on the back. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put the magnet down toward the bottom because for right now we are stamping the strawberry plate. Going to do a couple of those. I think just like that. And I will get my pear pizzazz ink. The doorbell rang. The dogs are going crazy. But that 
probably means there is a package, but it's also spring break, so my son's up there and can get it. Getting my fancy little Stampin' Up press thing that my friend Dana made for me. And then we're going to stamp another one of the strawberry plant. I think like that. So I'll pick it up. Doesn't matter that it left a little image because this is going to go down perfectly. Where it was. All right. Clean up my strawberry plant on my chamois and put it away. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my sentiment while we're stamping on this. I'm moving my magnet up here. I'm putting a thank you right there at the bottom of my basic white front that moved so I better make sure that it's where I want it. And we're going to do this in Poppy Parade. Thank you. And I'll get that all cleaned up before I put it away. Okay. Now it is time to do my strawberry that's going to be on there. So I need to find another scrap of Whisper White. I mean basic white. see if that works. My um, camera stand is metallic. My magnet wanted to go there. And I'm going to get the other magnet and use it with my little mask that I made. Ah, uh, sometimes I wish I had more fingernails, but that is not something I have been able to do in my life. Okay, so I'm going to keep it there, and I think this will work with the Builder Punch this time. I made sure my strawberry is at the bottom and facing the correct direction. So I will, we will see when this is done, but I do think this will work. And I'm going to 
do the outlines first in basic in tuxedo black. And then we'll go back through and add color in a minute. And I'm only doing the ones I will actually use. Clean that off a little bit and then try it again. Because it could be the stickiness got dirty. Alright. And I'm using the Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. Just not happy today. I remember this last time. That little leaf does not love the stamparatus. Huh. I don't know why. But we're going to do something different. I'm going to line it up. And then try to pick it up. And it still did not leave much of an imprint. Maybe it didn't have enough black ink on it. We'll try again. Still just not being a happy camper. Try sticking it in there one more time. Huh. I do not understand this. There, I just pressed it and it kind of worked. Okay, I'm going to put those aside and clean this up. And then we're adding color. this up. And add Poppy Parade to the strawberry. I got everywhere. And we're going to add a little bit of pear pizzazz to the leaf.
Huh. Those did not do their job well. So, I'm not sure what happened here. that strawberry will look fine after it's punched out. The leaf, on the other hand, just is not participating well. There's some parabazaz on that leaf. But I found it, so we're all good. All right, so now we have one done. And that was not a good man. Slide them apart when you do that. And then we're going to do the same thing one more time over here. Because I need two strawberries and two leaves so we'll see if the leaf behaves itself better this time I don't know that it will we're going to ink up the black outlines pick them up Ink up the black outlines. Here we go. I think maybe the leaf is not as thick as the strawberry. And so it's just not doing its job as well. I think that might have been it. And so we're going to do the next two, one at a time. I was looking for the stamps that are right in front of me. That's silly. Okay, we're going to do the strawberry, and then we're going to go back and do the leaf.
hope that worked. Yay, that worked better. So I think I discovered the issue. That leaf is a different thickness than the strawberry. All right, one at a time, I will take the magnets off and put them away. And then, move some of these things and get the punch out. And here we are seeing that I did it the right way this time. I still did not do it the right way. Oh, I don't know how I didn't do it the right way. I have to make sure the leaf is on the right of the strawberry. I don't know what I was thinking. But what I'm thinking now is I'm going to fussy cut these, the strawberry and then punch out the leaf. When you run into an issue where you've messed up. You just do it with the easiest one to fuzzy cut and then use the punch on the other one. And the strawberry is a shape that is easier to fuzzy cut. Okay, and now to get the punch. Line up that leaf and punch it out. And of course, it punched several other pieces, but only the flower was whole. And I'm going to wind it up. And punch out this one. Okay. Again, several pieces came out. Nothing whole. Okay. And now we put every thing together. We will need a stamp again on the inside in a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and put the leaves on the strawberries. Just put some glue at the bottom part of the leaf. And attach them to the top of the strawberries. And 
then attach the strawberries with dimensionals to this front, cart front. And then we are going to end up putting it all together. We're going to put one strawberry there and the other one right like this with the stem hooked under. Okay. I am laying these on here to make sure that they're going to work. But first, I'm going to glue the big one. To make sure I'm putting it on the right side in the right direction and then I'm going to attach the top okay. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this and you can always use many dimensionals you don't have to put um, well, I do recommend at least one in each corner. If all you have are the full-size dimensionals, you can uh, cut them in half, and that will save your dimensionals and make them last longer. Okay. Now I'm going to do some more stamping. Oh, silly me. I did not put that on my pear pizzazz piece. Let's see if we can do that. I may not be able to. We're going to do this a little different than the last time I did this. We're going to put it with dimensionals on the pear pizzazz piece and then glue the pear pizzazz piece down to the front. There we go. All right, now I'm going to make the stamp for the inside of the card. And what I'm going to do, besides keep that little flower, 
it's grab my sentiment and the strawberry plant stamp and those are what we're going to be using that was so sweet of you and the so we're going to do that with the sweet of you in Poppy Parade. Make sure we stamp it the right direction. Okay. Forgot I had my chamois on my lap. And I'm going to get the strawberry plant stamp and I'm going to close up the poppy parade. Get the pair of pizzazz over here. Because that is what we'll be doing with the strawberry plant again. Just going to do it right here at the bottom of the card. Then we're going to glue that on the inside of this card and we will be done with week two of the Sweet Strawberry Stamp Set. Here is our strawberry thank you card. And there's the inside. I hope you enjoyed this and I plan to be back next Thursday to do card number four. See you then.